easily insert multiple images for any inspection report item. Oftentimes, you may take several photos that belong in the same inspection area of your report. There is no set limit to the number of images that may be included in any section of a regular 3D inspection system report. While you are in the appropriate field of your inspection, you would use the lower thumbnails pane to select and import the first desired image. In this case, I have a handy action set up to quickly adjust my screen for inserting photos. So I'm just going to use that to change my screen panes. So I'm going to select my first photo and import it. After it inserts, simply locate and insert the next image you wish to include for that area. You'll notice the field is automatically copied to accommodate the extra image. You may continue to insert as many images as you would like for the area and it will continue to copy the field as needed. As a tip, if you do not need to further edit or annotate the images, you may simply double click them in, allowing you to quickly insert as many images as desired for that area. For example, let's add three more by double clicking them. The Mobile Phone 3D app works similarly in that tapping camera to take a new photo for a field where you already have a photo automatically replicates the field to accommodate it. Now that we have a few images inserted, let's preview this page to see how they look. You'll notice that the photos are automatically combined together for the section. So we have the six photos together all below our tub, shower, and walls area. One thing to note is that if you happen to be using special graphical forms that exactly replicate a government or mandated format like a WDO inspection, you should only insert individual photos in the specific fields already set up and designed to accommodate them in the forms because the fields have to directly match up with items on the printed design. This restriction would not apply to most general inspection reports, only to special graphical ones. Now, you'll notice that although the images were inserted in the copy fields and the report writer, they combined together automatically in the final report. This is because the image position for all these images was set to below the text. Let's close the preview and see this setting. To view or adjust the general position setting for future images, in the thumbnails pane, click the gear tab and choose settings. If your image position is set to below, then all the images in the copied fields for an area will automatically combine together on the final printed report, just as we saw. But if you use a different image position, then the images do not combine together, but are treated as separate entities next to the text on each field. So the below setting is generally the most useful as your default, unless you normally only take one photo for each area. Let's cancel out of the settings. Note that you may also click a thumbnail in a report to adjust its position directly. Now you may have noticed in the preview that the images were using the same margins as the comments with the extra images wrapping below. Now suppose we want to save space on the report by printing the images more across the page. The below image section settings has its own margins and may be adjusted by using the file page setup area. Let's go there now.
you notice there is an image section tab in the page setup. The left and right margins are currently matching the left and right margins that are used for printing the narrative text comments. Instead, we will set both the left and the right margins to one inch so our images can use a larger width on the page. The right margin is always already set to an inch, so we're just going to change the one. Now, let's save and exit. Let's preview the form again to see the result. Now, notice that our below images are using the one inch margins on each side and we can fit more across the page. Depending on the image width and the margin settings for your below image section, you can adjust it to accommodate different numbers of images printing across the page to save space on your final report and have a neat and professional look for your images. And again, there's no limit to the number of images that may be inserted in a particular section of the inspection report, but you may combine them nicely together by using the below image position.